Hey guys, welcome back to the stuff. Uh, so I'm back out in the uh, workshop this weekend, um, doing a little woodworking, uh, and I thought I'd give making coasters a try. So I've got some uh, leftover oak and uh, some plywood, and I'll be making uh, coasters, and specifically these guys. So as mentioned, those are made out of oak and plywood. Um, I'll be using a mixture of hand tools and power tools. So uh, let's turn around and see what I'm up to at the workbench. So for these coasters, uh, materials I'm going to be using today uh, are some scrap box of plywood. Um, so these are all offcuts from the workbench uh, I made last week. Um, they'll make uh, part of the oak and uh, uh, plywood coasters. And the other half of the oak and plywood coasters, as you can imagine, is some oak. Now I've got this, uh, this length. This is half of a length that I bought um, in the Bristol Wood Recycling Shop uh, uh, just before Christmas. Uh, cost me three quid. It's very rough sawn. Uh, you can see it's got a bit of a bow in it and a bit of a twist um, <clears throat> but I'm going to use a bit of that uh, to make some coasters so what that means is I'm going to have to uh, prepare uh, that um, I don't have a jointer or a uh, thicknesser or a thickness planer uh, so what I'm going to have to use is um, my old school number four jack plane uh, so uh, yeah it's a good work out this So I'm just using the jack plane here uh, to take off some of the um, the roughness uh, in this sort of first uh, session, just getting rid of some of the, the sort of the rough sawn uh, like surface. Um, and then I know I've got a bow in it, so I'm just showing you that here with the ruler. You can see it's got a high point on this face, um, so I'm just uh, going to focus on that in the in the next bit. So after I've clamped it back in using this dodgy hand, this dodgy uh, vice handle, which I must whittle myself a new one one day, um, I just continue to plane until I get a flat surface. And then uh, I just take it over with my chop saw, cut it to the size I want. So I've got my oak and my plywood uh, ready. Uh, I've got three oak and two plywood so I'm going to layer it up oak plywood oak plywood oak as you imagine uh, quite a simple uh, decision uh, so all of the flat faces together uh, and then that will create me this sandwich uh, which is I've got some edge grain for this bit of oak end grain, end grain for this bit of oak because that's two bits of oak stuck together. I don't know why I had that in my shop but I did. Uh, some more uh, uh, plywood and then some more oak and I'll be gluing these up and then once that's all glued together I'll be taking uh, cuts across that way to get the, the, the coasters. So I'm using this Type on 3 which is their waterproof version um, and I'm applying a uh, liberal coating in between each of the pieces, um, giving it a good spread out, give me a good, um, good strong glue up, and then I'm just trying to apply as many clamps as I uh, I can in order to get an even compression um, on the on the lamination. And then uh, you can see I'm getting quite a good good amount of squeeze out. On the glue, um, so I'm just uh, taking a cloth there and wiping that off, um, and then I just leave that to dry uh, for 24 hours. So the block is all glued up. Um, I'm going to be taking slices through the uh, width of this so all of my oh, so slices through there I think I can probably get a good four or five coasters out of this maybe even six I'm using 
using one of my uh, Japanese pull saws uh, to uh, make these cuts. Uh, I don't have a bandsaw, um, it's another piece of machinery I'd like but don't have any space for. Um, and it'd be much easier to use a bandsaw with this. Um, one thing I didn't do is um, make sure all my edges were, uh, or easy, all the sides were parallel to each other. I didn't feel that was uh, necessary considering the way I'm cutting it and I'll be cleaning that up um, on the table saw afterwards. Um, but Japanese pull saw works really well. Um, and I just have to turn the block over a number of times. Um, but it all uh, all worked out all right. So considering I've had to cut all those by hand, um, I think they've come out pretty good, um, pretty uniform, uh, and only a couple of saw marks on either side that I need to get rid of. Um, so I'm going to put these in the vise, uh, give them a bit of sand up with my old bottle sander, and then um, just to get the final shape, I'll take them to the uh, table saw, um, and then I can actually use the table saw as intended. Uh, I'm just using 120 grit on the orbital sander uh, and then I take them over to the uh, table saw and use my crosscut sled um, just to uh, get them all square and I'm just marking off with pencil on the backboard there just so I can line them up as I'm, as I'm cutting them and then I'm just using a block, uh, a sanding block here just to take the edges and the, and the corners off. So I've finished sanding these up now, uh, pretty happy with the way these are looking. I'm liking the contrast between the edge uh, or the end grain and the edge grain um, and that plywood is, um, is looking good. There's not too many areas where it's actually broken out, in fact I, there's not any on, uh, on, a few, on, on these. Um, so I'm just going to apply a finish now of tongue oil. Uh, this will give me some uh, waterproofing and a bit of protection for when you're putting your uh, uh, beer on it. So, end of another day here on Matt Does Stuff. Uh, that was uh, me making some coasters out of oak and plywood. And they work. That's a beer on a coaster. So, another great project. Really enjoyed myself this weekend. I'm going to celebrate with a beer. And I've got a left handed giant thousand eyes, if anyone's interested. Delicious. Great way to end a day. And once again, my coasters work. See you next time. Remember, you stay safe, get some stuff done.